Hey, this is Patrick with iPad Insight. Today I've got a quick demo for you of a very nice new feature in iOS 6 for the iPad. This is called Guided Access. It's used primarily to restrict usage on the iPad to just one app. This can prove very useful in an education classroom sort of setting or perhaps when using the iPad as a kiosk as well. And uh, fortunately, it's very, very easy to use and to set up. So here's how you do it. Under Settings and General, you go down to Accessibility. There's an entry towards the bottom for Guided Access. By default, it's turned off. It's easy to toggle it on and off with just a quick tap here. You can set a passcode on it, which I've already done. So now we'll just go ahead and demo how it works. <clears throat> so for instance, if we're in the Dolphin browser app, to invoke it, which unfortunately you're not going to see, uh, you just triple tap on the home button. And it's going to come up and it's going to let you know that you can also uh, set it to restrict touch input to just certain areas of the iPad touch screen. I'm not going to fool with that just at the moment, but that is available for you to use. I'm just going to hit start and we're, it lets us know that we're in guided access mode. So now this app is still going to work just as it always would. There's no restrictions on the app itself. But if I tap the home button, it's going to pop up and let me know that guided access is turned on so you can't go back to the home screen. It's also going to let us know that if you triple tap, you can exit it. But because I've used the passcode, you're going to need to know that to get out of it. So I'll get out of it for the moment. And that's it. That's about all there is to it. Very easy to enable, very easy to disable. You can set a passcode, which most of the time is probably going to be useful. And a real handy looking feature. That's about it for this morning. I hope you're all having a good Friday and not an unlucky Friday on the 13th.